Hey Scorpio, welcome to the channel Serious About Stars. I'm Jay and I have a reading for you. So, um, Scorpio, um, real quickly before we jump into all of this, um, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, but also do watch these videos for your sun sign um, and your rising sign. And then if there um, is any other placement that you are feeling um, called to uh, watch the reading for that placement, then do so. That is your intuition telling you something. So we are going to jump into your reading though, Scorpio. I have meditated on your energy. I asked for messages for you, for the Scorpio Collective, for you, the viewer, at this time in your life. These readings are timeless, so whenever it is that you are clicking on this video and watching it and receiving it, then that is when it is for you. So, all right, we will jump right into it, Scorpio. So, um, from your meditation, I saw you walking into this just big, vast, bright, white room building. Um, like down a, um, I was going to say hallway, but it was like a um, kind of like, not like almost like a staircase, but it like it goes down, but it's just this big, bright, white, just almost angelic, just place. Almost like this very, um, it feels like very like holy. It feels very sacred. It feels very peaceful. It feels like, it is everything that you have been seeking and hoping for, wishing for, praying for. It's like it, this place, it represents this peace. It represents this serenity. It also represents them feeling this surrender. It's like you have just surrendered something. You've let something go. You have released something and you are just receiving the absolute warmth and blanket like this warm blanket of of source of spirit of god of the universe and it is just soft and it is light there is this light feeling that is coming up out of this it is like light as in the opposite of heavy but it is also like very bright very 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 white um there's a lot of i'm feeling um like doves if you're seeing a, a dove that could be um, a spirit's way of confirming this message for you. Um, I'm going to look down at my notes, make sure I'm not missing anything for you. Oh yes, also, yes, the um, kind of the main thing here. It's like you hear something, you hear this voice, you hear this like singing, you hear this music and you don't see it, but you hear it and you're following it. It's like, what is guide? It's, it's like, what has guided you into this building at all? It's like, okay, and it's like this place, this place, whatever it is, whatever it represents, maybe it's not a physical place at all, as in the way that it relates to your life. But maybe it is, maybe it's like, a, maybe there is a place, like an actual building you enter. Maybe it's like a, this feels like it may have a lot to do with music so there, there could be some kind of like a music kind of community or a music um like music lessons or or something or some kind of a group that you join i don't know take it take it as it resonates allow these messages to be malleable so that they may fit into where they speak in your life but it's like there's this new door that you're entering and it's like it's like this place or however again this resonates in your to, to your life it's like it's this it's like something that you pass by every day it's like just down the street maybe you've or you've passed by it a hundred times you've like if it's about a person you've seen this person you've met this person but you didn't know like who they were kind of energy something there um you didn't know how much you had in common with somebody even though you knew them, it's like you're, you're getting, maybe you're getting to know somebody. Maybe this has to do with a person and maybe this is about a relationship. I feel that being for somebody, um, but for others, it's, it's, it's more of like a community. It's more of like a group of people. It's more of like, this is your soul tribe. Maybe this is like, 
I don't know. Um, anyway, we'll come back to that. But you're you're hearing this music. You're being led by this music. This music is your guide, and you're not. You're still not seeing exactly where it's coming from. There's still something that has yet to be illuminated here. But you're following it. You're following. You're following what you desire most, really, truly. And you're seeing where it goes. And I'm seeing this. Um, not a, not allowing for distractions it's like all of the other distractions that you used to hear and you used to like be that you okay like someone would say something and you and you may be like oh wait what and you know and that kind of th maybe was triggering or threw you off or like you ventured from where you were to go somewhere else um but it's like there's no more of that i'll be right back it i just had to turn the ac off but it's like you know what you want you know what you want and you're going after it and you're there's this level of um loyalty to yourself is, is is what it feels like it's about you're not denying your own heart here anymore maybe you were by um maybe you were giving a lot to uh, maybe you've been giving a lot to others and you've been doing a lot for others and you've been really generous with your time and, and now this is you doing what you know you need to do, what you're here to do. And it's like, and, and maybe you can't explain it, but you know that following this trail that you're on, this voice, this, this music, whatever it is, you know that this is the way and you don't know how, but you just intuitively, you know it and you're following your intuition here. So good for you, Scorpio. Um, yeah and I, and I just feel like every step that you're taking you're getting you're getting closer and it's like you're going after again this this voice this maybe it's a person uh this like angel like person that you are just so like amazed by so um what's the word um oh my gosh there is a word it, it crossed my mind earlier uh mesmerized by but it's like, as you're doing that, you're noticing this place, this place. It's it's like, there's also this place and it's like, this place is beautiful. And you're looking around and you're like, you never knew this place existed. And it's like, it comes to be a little bit more about the place and less about the person, if there's another person involved here. Um, it's more, it becomes more about the bigger picture here. Um, but you are still following this path. There is this path that you are on and you are staying on your path. And I, and I feel it being very important that you do stay on your path. And it's like, and I, and I just feel like, whether it be astrologically, uh, just somehow like this is you're not going to be interrupted here this mission <laughs> this destiny this um path will not be interrupted there may be things like on the walls that maybe you stop and you look at and it's part of it but it's like you're not turning back now you are in it and this is where you're meant to be. And it's also, there's this energy of, once again, it's like this place that you've just like stumbled into, right? This beautiful, this wonderful, magical place that you've like dreamed of and you wish for. It's everything you've ever wanted. And it's been like right where you are, basically right where you are all along. And it's like, why did I not find this before? Why did I not find this earlier? Why did it take this long to get here? And it's because you found it now because you are ready now. It wouldn't have been the same before. Divine timing was and is and will always be at play. Um, so you can you you can trust this. You can trust yourself here too. Um, I just feel like this this sense of readiness. Also, there's something about. Um, patience and also urgency 
It feels like there is this need for patience and you're understanding that. Like there's a lot of this like temperance kind of energy I'm feeling, but there's also, um, again, this like, you know the time is now and you don't you don't you don't want to delay that you don't want to hold that up you don't want to miss the call kind of energy and i feel um this this balancing act um not necessarily being easy you know balancing this like am i moving mm, that it's like balancing am i moving fast enough or okay it's like not going too quickly that you miss parts of this, but also not going too slow that you miss something, that you miss the call. And it's like it comes, Scorpio, it's like it comes back to divine timing and how, how nothing ever, is is a mistake it's like it's like you are your destiny and everything that you do is nothing is apart from that destiny it's like you are your destiny <laughs> i don't know if i'm explaining and i don't think i feel like i'm not explaining this perfectly but it's like even the mistakes that we think we make are part of our ultimate destiny. There's no such thing as a mistake. There's no such thing as too late or too early. If you feel like you're too late or you're too early, it is only because it is going to contribute to the bigger picture and what is truly meant to be. And it's when we allow ourselves to be still and silent, we begin to see that we begin to make sense of it. We begin to realize the sense of purpose. That reminded me there is something else I felt from your meditation about um it's like a time for listening right now you are you are listening you are listening and you are learning and it's not so much perhaps a time for speaking it is a time for receiving and listening it is a time for listening um take that as it resonates um but it's a time to listen not as much to speak. Um, balance is, you know, great, of course, but there, 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 there is something about you are listening, you are hearing, and from that you are learning in this stillness. But also in this movement, this guidance, I'm feeling I got another little kind of just like intuitive hit just now of like, it's like stillness in the way that say if you were on a boat and the boat is moving and you are still but you are on the boat that is moving it's kind of like that so if that kind of helps at all to to understand and how you're navigating this it's like as it's like if you were if you were on a boat and you are still but you are moving your boat is moving let your boat move don't don't oh i'm feeling um not having your like anchor down you know lift up your anchor don't you don't let that let your boat move but let you be still on your boat but don't like sink that anchor down and be like I'm waiting right here for for something or for someone let your boat move um, yeah okay let's go ahead and grab some cards okay Scorpio Scorpio um, so a little bit of um, additional insight, please, for my Scorpios from the universe. Additional insight, please, from spirit for Scorpio. Oops, that came out fast. Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm feeling this readiness, this you in your power, this you in your like divine feminine energy. Um, gender aside um but i feel this wisdom you have gained so much wisdom and there is this so much there is so much knowing there is so much um i'm feeling like this sense of like royalty and knowing your worth knowing your 
worth. You are the queen here, okay? And it's just, it's important that you know that. And others look up to you. There are a lot of people around you that look up to you. You may or may not know that, but if you didn't know that, now you do. There are a lot of people around you who look up to you and admire you and your beauty and your wisdom. Okay, four of air. Feels like there is this period of rest. I feel that you I feel you coming out of this period of rest though. This feels like it feels like in a way that it feels I feel like you feel like it's still lingering. Maybe you're still tired in a way that you haven't completely woken up from this restful period in your life when you needed to rest and perhaps you needed to heal. Um, but you're coming out of it, but you're coming slowly out of it. And that's a good thing because if you were to just jump out of bed and you were ever gonna run, then you, like you're gonna hit the ground running then, um, It's kind of like you would get tired really fast. And it's important to be patient with yourself and not push this or force this to happen or force this journey or force yourself to do all of these things like all today or um, all so fast. Like be patient, listen to yourself, listen to your body, what your body needs, what your heart needs. And also there's this message I'm feeling of like you, um, maybe that maybe there's this a little bit of a feeling of, of lacking something, almost feeling like you don't have something, but you actually have a lot more than you think that you have. Like I'm getting that from this card. It's like, she's looking, she's kind of looking down, looking down, looking down, maybe reflecting, maybe looking at the water, looking at these emotions looking at a, a certain reflection from a certain perspective. Um, and maybe this perspective is a little bit like melancholic, okay? Um, but it's like, there's this beautiful feather, peacock feather in this hand, and there's more in this hand. And then there are these angel wings and there's this beautiful dress that she's wearing. There's so much beauty here, but it's like she's not looking at all this beauty. And the it's 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 so I'm feeling this being about perspective and and reflection. And if you are reflecting on something and it feels and if it feels like what you are reflecting on isn't has a Kind of a bit of a sad tone and it's important to acknowledge our feelings you know even and especially the uh, heavy ones right um know that there are a lot of beautiful wonderful things around you that can and will cheer you up immensely if you would let them if you want them to there they can do they you already have it it's like there's there's just great things that you already have in your own hands and on you now with you now um it's not outside of you it's already with you and part of you innately and so if you want to tap into that part of you you certainly can all right, Scorpio, what else? What else does Spirit have for you at this time? Ten of air. <sighs> Feels like... It's funny that I, like, let all that air out. Like, blew all that air out just now because that's exactly what this image depicts. How funny. I'm feeling this exhale. Scorpio there's this exhale it's like that there's this final exhale maybe it's like a final purge that you are letting yourself release there maybe there's a lot on your chest I'm feeling something on your chest 
maybe there is something that you do need to say and you haven't gotten the chance to say it. And you're getting the chance to. It's interesting because we also talked about it being a time of listening and not speaking, but you are getting that chance. If there is something on your chest, something that you are needing to express and you are needing to say, um, divine, again, divine timing is at play and you are, you are getting this opportunity. You're getting this opportunity. And I feel that once you get this opportunity to, to share what's on your mind, even if you just write it down, maybe it's about writing it down. Maybe it is about saying it, actually saying it. And I do feel, I really do feel like there is a conversation that you are getting to have where you get to express something and you get to release it. And you feel so much lighter afterwards. <sighs> Scorpio. It's, it's heavy. Whatever this is, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's really heavy and I feel like maybe you don't even really know that you're carrying this heaviness. It feels like it's... It feels like it's um, a little bit of grieving something, grieving a... Um, grieving what you thought something would be or thought but you're letting it go you're letting it go and that's all that matters and when you do you're releasing that heaviness blowing it out if like if you feel called to and to just go just blow it out and uh, with on your mind something that you are needing to release needing to get out of your body out of your mind you can just practice that literally just blowing out air like that could be the healing that you are seeking at this time actually um like all of this on your mind and maybe it is things maybe this maybe these are things that you have already said and you just need to like be still and silent and release it for yourself. I feel like, I just, again, I feel like you are releasing so much and you're gonna feel so much lighter as a result of this stillness and this silence. Maybe there, maybe you've been keeping yourself busy and moving to avoid this, this 10 of air, this 10 of swords. In the original tarot, um, it, 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 this image kind of depicts what feels like defeat. Maybe, maybe it feels like there is this defeating, this defeated energy. Okay, but it's not really defeat. Maybe it's a, maybe it's like accepting some form of defeat initially, but as a result of that, it's it's freeing yourself from that battle whatever it was, it's, it's, it's freeing you. All right, let's get another card from this. Let's get one, okay. Scorpio, messenger of air. Um, there's a lot of um, air energy here. A lot of conversations, I'm feeling there's a lot of conversations. And I'm feeling this being, somebody else that has something to say to you but you haven't they haven't said it or they hadn't been saying it and you hadn't been hearing it and part of this comes back actually to um be be um How do I say this? Scorpio. It's important for you to be in your divine energy here, in a state of receiving. In a state of listening and receiving.
give if there's if there's someone around you here give this person give these people the time and the space to speak to you i feel like you're in a conversation and there's like this silence between you and this person and they're not saying anything and you and you choose to fill the silence by changing the subject or saying something or saying something else filling that silence it could be blocking the potential for this to come in it feels like it's about giving this person the space to speak up this person needs to speak up um I feel like this per I feel like there could be somebody who is um mesmerized by you feels so good around you feels so good in your energy sees you as this sort of like angel kind of presence here um and and, and sees you as like so beautiful and this person could also be dreaming about you um the color blue also feels really significant with all these this blue air energy this per there could be an air sign also that you were dealing with here um so like gemini libra aquarius a lot of aquarius energy kind of coming up actually for someone uh just intuitively um oh patience feels really significant here but in this patience patience is not waiting by the way patience is not waiting so what is spirit what is god what is the universe asking of you Ooh. I, I really I felt this this card in like my mind's eye before coming on live here. Call. It's about this call. It's about answering this call. Following your heart, Scorpio. Following your heart. Answering this call is following your heart. This this path. This path. Imagine this path. This bright illuminated path and it's and it's not and it's also this path it's like following this path is also not getting distracted not being tempted by the distractions on either side and the voices over here and there you're following this this music this angelic voice almost maybe this choir maybe there's like a choir like significant maybe there's a song an album that's just like really healing at this time and through this music you are discovering a lot about yourself and exploring some part of yourself here um but i feel like let yourself dance let yourself be present here and don't worry about like the end like destination just be on this call. Just be on this call. Let yourself enjoy this call for what it is. What is it? What is it, Scorpio? Allow yourself to meditate, to become still, to become silent, and just listen. Listen to the universe. Listen. Listen. Don't. It's like I feel like someone's saying, but this, but that, but, but, but what about? Mm. Universe, God, your angels, source, creator will give you all the answers you need with or without your questions. Okay, um, okay, what else, what else, what other card? Uh, okay, let's get a spirit animal card for you, Scorpio. self-love time to celebrate all your magnificent lights mm. 
and elephant grounding. Ground your energies and emotions seep into the earth. I feel this one being so significant because the fourth air had these peacock feathers that we even talked about. So self love, Scorpio, you're freaking beautiful. You're freaking magnificent. You have, you have like gained so much wisdom and so much knowledge. There is so much in your life that you have successfully like um, integrated learned from, mastered, and some of these things, some of these lessons you had to go through were not pretty, but you made them pretty. You made it art. You made something. You made art out of like mud and um, other stuff, right? And, and you became this just beautiful, incredible, very rare, very rare, very wonderful, thing that um, uh, may seem a little bit untouchable for others um, because not many people can, are like allowed or, or permitted to be in your energy, it kind of feels like, at least not fully or in the way that you desire. You're very bright, you're very colorful, you're very beautiful, you're very unique, you're very unique. And it, it feels really important for you to see yourself here. It's, it feels so important for you to fully, truly see yourself, like look into the mirror, like actually practice this, like if you want to look into a mirror and look into the, like the details of your face and your body and be like, oh my gosh, this is the body the face and the beauty that I get to have. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. I'm awesome. Scorpio, you're incredible. And I challenge you. I encourage you, Scorpio, to do this, to think about all these beautiful, amazing talents and gifts and just special ways about you that you just innately have. Like you're like this. Okay. And I feel this like energy of like, just like, oh yeah, it's whatever. It's like, it's, it's no big deal. It's whatever, like I'm, no, like seriously. Oh my gosh, do you know who you are? Do you? Cause I feel like you don't. So prove me wrong, <laughs> Scorpio. An elephant, grounding again, ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. I'm feeling this being about releasing things, releasing certain emotions, certain energies, kind of like, um, which card was it here? And the 10 of air was the 10 of um, swords also about blowing these thoughts up and out and releasing them, letting them off your chest, right? It's kind of like the same thing, but down into the earth. If you feel called to take your shoes off and go stand out in nature, be still and be silent. Feel that energy in your body, your emotions, even your frustrations. Let gravity do its thing. Let them sink down into your body, down your legs, to your feet, into the ground, and leave them there and let them serve their their purpose. Um, and it's like, we are all one, right, with one another and we are all so one with the earth. So in that way, it's okay to do that, to release that, to let that go and to leave it there, those, those emotions. Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and close your reading with a guardian angel message. All right. Let's get one more little shuffle here for you, Scorpio. Angels have to 
say to you, Scorpio? Got it. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help Unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow your inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. all is valid whatever it is that you want to do and i feel i was starting to think maybe i should have like could have said this a little bit more in your meditation too but whatever it is that you are called to whatever it is that you are moving towards you know and only you know and no one else can tell you what it is or is not when you are still and you are in your truth and you are present you know and so whatever it is there is no shame again all is valid just because so-and-so does this or so-and-so is doing that follow your truth your truth will not lead you astray okay sometimes de a detour is part of the plan um so i'm not saying this is a detour i'm not but um Sometimes it's like the scenery, it's a detour is only, a detour doesn't have to have like any kind of negative association with it. Like maybe our lives at all, life at all maybe is like a detour, all right, from our other lives and our soul's purpose aside from this life and this is just a little speck of it this is maybe just a little detour and a detour can be a beautiful journey um all right scorpio i think i'm gonna leave that there and wish you the very best and i wish you all the love and all the lights and so many blessings love you scorpio all right see you in the next video